Hello everyone, welcome to the next episode of Lotus Lab. Today I'm doing it from the hotel in Berlin because I'm here for the VCT EMEA finals and Pell changes got dropped on us yesterday. So we're going to talk about it and would like to break it down because there's a lot of questions in my community about what I think is going to happen now uh, with Pell. So this is the first photo. It's the before photo. Um, as you all know, this is how Pell looks right now. And then we're going to have the next, next, um, photo which is after the changes and that, those are huge this is actually insanely huge change that will change the post plant as well and i know tom tombis disagrees with me on that but i do think this is a huge enough change ch to change the perspective on how the post plant is going to be played uh and the reason for that it, it, there's there's few things actually here happening so one realize that there's no cubby anymore on the right side you cannot hide in this angle right so when when you're going to be fighting here from long and post plant you're not going to have to worry about a potentially a player hiding in this spot so there's going to be a limited amount of angles that going to uh, that going to happen uh when you're holding that and also the ramp now is not ramp anymore right so first it's smaller there's there's this part is missing right here there's no part of the ramp anymore here and the ramp is not a ramp anymore because there's no portion of the ramp there's just this box right so this box actually changes the dynamic also how you play in that position because you cannot be you cannot be agile when uh you're standing in the area behind the old ramp typically how you played in that position is that you were constantly moving up and down up and down up and down from many different unpredictable unpredictable angles which always favored the person that was behind this ramp and you were able to always get an angle on the opponent because your opponents were never changing the angle when they were at the spike but you were able to catch people off guard because you can pick from any direction on top of the ramp but also on the side of the ramp from one or the other angle so there was so many angles when it comes to crossover placement from the defenders for the retake that they were never able to be like consistent uh but now the thing is that you're not able to do that anymore because you have to jump up on this spot and you're gonna be in only those angles over here so not only the uh, the cubby disappearance makes a huge important like huge important change in the angle you hold as a defender but also when you're going to hold a player behind ramp there's a limited amount of angles that he's going to be picking you from and also he's not going to be able to hide as well because as you compare it to the old ramp there's just way less space so you cannot bunker behind this you're going to get like spammed through this box through those screens and you're gonna get damaged more easily it's gonna be more predictable which angle you peek from and that makes a huge huge difference and it's also not gonna be as dynamic when it comes to like peeking through ramp because you have to jump on that box and you're not running in you're jumping on the dynamic when it comes to shooting from that kind of movement changes completely the way you're gonna peak. So that's an absolutely huge change for the post plant. But also now something that because I, I, I'm talking about post plant because it's the most important for everyone to hear, right? But there's another big change that I cannot really check now, but I'm guessing it's gonna happen is when you t first take space on B, if you don't have a harbor and you have to make a smoke over here in this angle it's gonna be not as efficient anymore because look how much space is being limited now sorry how much more space is being freed up this box was way longer on ramp so this right here has to be filled with this smoke and if i'm not mistaken like the viper's orb needs to be repositioned and i would assume in this spot to cover this entire angle when it comes to first contact jet smoke is gonna be like easy to miss so there can be like a you know like a gap on the left right side or on the left side so you have to be very very aware of this and it's not going to be just as easy with, with any other piece of utility as well so this is a potential gap that can be exposed by the defenders from cubby uh the beginning of the round right so you have to pay more attention to that all right let's go to the next uh photo so we have now uh the changes from the other side of belong and that's essentially 
this is a buff towards the defenders because you're able to fight from more consistent angles. And if I'm not mistaken as well, uh, I think that we're going to have to check once this is in-game. I don't have access to PBE accounts. Um, the Viper wall that is being typically put like over here, right? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to end around here. So if you're standing on this box, you're going to be able to peek over it. And you also can like make the vibe wall cover a little bit of the of the top of the box so you can jump on it. And also something very important is that right now in the previous version of this box, when you when you consider how it's being built, right? There's less space behind it. There's no cover over here. And also you're not able to put pressure on the people behind it unless you spam through. But pay attention now how it's being built now with this changes with those changes in your mind when you're standing in the backside of those of the screen here you're going to be able to make pressure of people behind the screen when you're going to isolate them with a cascade for example or like any other smokes in this direction so you're going to you're going to have an easier time in isolating the gunfight for someone who is pushing in front of the screen. This is not bangable, by the way, anymore. So you cannot really bang this area. So the only area that can be bangable is, is essentially this, right? So if you're standing in this spot, you cannot get spammed. And that is huge. Like this spot is safe. This is the spot that you can be in. And the only thing that will reach you is utility that deals damage. All of that changes the dynamic of the way that you're going to be holding Um this entire site because you're able to create more pressure as a defender than you were able to do beforehand so not only you have more space because this is longer you have a safe spot over here and you're able to create pressure on people behind the box because you can just jump on them right so this there's so much shit that changed here it's actually unreal and also when you consider retaking this area you also have an easier way of fighting the players behind ramp because you're able to stand over here right so you can isolate the player behind here easier because also there's no cubby on the right side remember guys that's another that's another change that is happening here so all in all i really like those changes so far and i know that the biggest problem is like oh man but the the, the, the long b is just still a straight line i know but all of those changes are actually are actually helping uh, the defenders a lot, which is nice. So, so we'll see how it goes. But the next one is also pretty interesting that we're going to see. Um, this is the change in, um, in the backside of B. Typically, the defenders were like tucked in and they could have played only in one corner, which makes it easier for the attackers to check those corners or like pre-fire because you, you don't have a lot of space where to stand in. But now... The attackers have like, they don't have 50-50s because depending depending on how they cut off the angles with, with the smokes on site, they're able to like check this corner first and then check this corner second, right? So you can like do it step by step, but it also allows utility pieces to be like put in, in this angle. Like, um, let me check one thing because I didn't think about it. Wait. Okay, never mind. The angle of the wall doesn't change. It's literally the same over here. So um, it doesn't change much for the default plant on the box. But it still allows you more freedom as a defender. And you can reposition from left to right if you put a smoke in front of it over here as a defender. So there's a lot more possibilities nowadays. Uh, not nowadays, because this is going to be introduced to the game. But in the future, you're going to have more agency as a defender. And you're not going to be pushed into one direction those are all positive changes here you know i really like that uh and you're also able to like flash into this direction over here like typically when i play uh, yoro right for example i need to flash like bouncing from the wall in front of here to peak but now i'll be able to bounce behind me more consistently because there's more space while peaking this angle so this is also pretty nice um all right and then next one is the ramp change that is just wider ramp that's about it it doesn't change much but when you're uh when you play on top of the side you know how little of space 
it leaves you here and how easy it is to get spammed if you're standing on the ramp. So um, this is just a little bit of help and it's definitely uh, needed. I wouldn't even mind if this was even wider, but probably the poster would get deleted then. <laughs> anyway, mm, so yeah, so that's, that's pretty nice. Um, it's not as easy to get spammed on either the top side of it or the behind of it, which is all um, nice changes and help the defenders, which is, I think, uh, very much needed. Hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown because I think those are all the changes that we've seen. I, I'm gonna, you know, we have this as evidence that I disagreed with Tom. I think those those four post plan changes are gonna be significant enough to change the way that we perceive this map. And hopefully it's going to be this way in esports. So hope you guys learned something. See you guys around. Bye-bye.